Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. A physical activity and diet program implemented by health educators in primary care physicians' offices benefited obese men but not women, in research published online ahead of print in the Archives of Internal Medicine. Help minimize your risk of becoming obese by including physical activity in your regular routine, such as a brisk walk at lunchtime, keeping proportion sizes of meals small, family members who want seconds can always ask, and avoiding fad diets. Researchers from Queen's University in Kingston randomly assigned nearly 500 obese men and women to one of two treatments aimed at reducing their obesity. The first group received usual care in the form of advice from their physicians about diet and lifestyle changes that promote weight loss among the obese. The second group met with trained health educators in their physicians' offices who guided them through a tailored diet and lifestyle program aimed at helping them lose weight. About 80% of the participants remained in the study for the full two-year period. During this time, those who received the special counseling from the health educators lost an average of about one centimeters around their waists. In contrast, those who received usual care actually gained an average of 0.2 centimeters around their waists. The effect was mainly restricted to men. Among women, there was a significant difference in waist circumference between those who received the special counseling and those who received usual care during the first year of the study. By the end of the two years, the difference had disappeared. We spoke with Professor Robert Ross, principal investigator of this study, who offered some further insight. The primary observation would be, I, I suppose, the take-home message that uh, when we put a professionally trained health educator to work, uh, uh, you know, and uh, um, by the side of the primary care physician, uh, we saw results with respect to uh, reduction of abdominal obesity that, uh, while subtle, were promising. Changing behaviors, you know, with respect to physical activity and diet, is a, is a, is a challenge in today's environment. And it takes skilled people to work with the patient closely over an extended period to help them adopt a healthy lifestyle or adopt physical activity combined with a healthful diet in order to do that. It's very difficult with the time that the physician has to do that with them, the patients. So what we're trying to do is recognize how difficult that is. It's not easy. And changing behavior in this environment is not easy. So it takes professionals to work with the patient um, uh, closely uh, to try and help them adopt and sustain the behavior. That's the key word, to, uh, you know, to achieve reductions in obesity and to sustain those reductions long term. That, that's really the key part. Today's research suggests that obese men may be more likely than women to benefit from tailored weight loss counseling sessions. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.